So it's called Equilibrix Connect. It's the game I designed for my mother and it's just pretty nice. No straight lines, no ankles, I mean right ankles. And your objective, your goal is to build a continuous chain which connects all three bases in your color faster than I will do the same in my color. And you just roll dice and you see what you can actually do. So this step was done because of this option to place one more to the original one, it's like a mother and a newborn, and they together have need to have this relationship. So it's pretty pretty easy. Mm, okay. But, yeah, it's like. Uh, so we uh, we have this. We have this. What is this? It's a triangular one. So if you roll this, you have to find a triangular mother, and you can place a triangular newborn. Okay. So with this, you can make this step, and already touching the base. Okay. These are considered as connected if they look with the corner to the middle of the flower. Okay. So this is a winning position because you have just continuous chain of your stones without any gap. And that's it. The okay. fun part is that we can actually surround each other. There is six ways how we can block and remove our stones just by forming the one of the formations, the card shows. Like this. For example, I form this, so you go out and I raise a bonus action so I can go on. So that the game is not only about the speed, but you need to be super aware of the, of the constellation of, of the stones of both players, or three players, it's ready for free. One, two, three players just having two bases across the board to connect. Okay, nice. And, as you can see, it's fully wooden, and this is called uh, Secret Geometry or Flower of Life pattern, which has so much potential that I was not able to fit all my ideas into one particular <laughs> field, uh, game. Okay. So that, what you can see here, it's another Equilibrix, but compact. Mm -hmm. And then I have another Equilibrix, a project. So it's like three super different games with different mechanisms, but just the same, the same layout, same, board, yeah. same geometry. Most of the the guys out there, they have like uh, some kind of okay, that's going dark. Uh, it's some kind of uh, cardboard. Uh, what is this? Sure. This one is uh, specialty in my case because it's not wood. Otherwise, I just use wood. The collector's boxes has a fully wooden parts, but what we have here, it's a travel version. So if you don't want a big, big collector's box, the same game is in the travel version, just in this sack. Okay. And then the board needs to be foldable to fit in. So this is a travel version of the board. Oh, okay. Which is, which is polyester, just a leather looking. But normally, in the big one, everything is like wooden. So okay. also the board is wooden, and then all the parts okay. is wooden. And how did you cut the parts? Did you use hands uh, or I is it a machine or a laser or? I have two tools. It's a CO2 laser machine, so the parts are laser cut. But then I have a hammer, so okay. I need to kind of uh, complete the box from the parts, which is without gluing. It's just friction-based system, okay, very mechanical good. locks. So I have a laser and then a hammer. Okay. Together, it's the whole Mati Moves brand, which it's from the technical point of view, pretty consistent. Next, Mati Moves explains Influence Classic. <laughs>